Well, well, well. One unfortunate thing has wandered across my path. A filthy orc. A thieving goblin. An elven meal. <laughs> my, my, my. Something even tastier. A human. So few of you find your way deep enough into my domain for me to feed upon. Lest the beasts and fauna rip you limb from limb. Shame. Such a pretty little thing. The way your bones will crack. The way your eyes will roll back as I crush you until there is nothing left. I wonder, what in seven hills is a human doing venturing so far away from their pack? Away from safety? There is naught for you here but darkness and death. Yet you've come so far to meet your own demise. Surely you would have thought not to enter such a sacred place without consequence. So, little rabbit, what brings you here to your final embrace? You ran as quickly as you could, but no prey has ever escaped my grasp. A valiant effort, but not one that was nearly quick enough, I'm afraid. Such a shame it is to devour such a bright little light amidst all this dark. But it is a task that has fallen to me, lest humans grow comfortable with traversing and tainting these hallowed grounds. You wish to leave? <laughs> Not a chance. It's been far too long since I've seen such a pretty little thing like you. You won't escape. You won't see blue skies for the rest of your days. So relax. Feel the coiling surround you. The sweet warmth amidst the harsh cold of this place. Let my words soothe you. Still your heart which races. Feel the safety in my grasp. Breathe slowly. And rest easy, my dear, my little rabbit, for my hunger has been slated, for now. You shan't die here, for when you entered my domain, your scent was enough to tell me that you were something special. <laughs> I think I'll keep you. Yes, yes, I will. I grow tired of the boredom that comes in hand with the task of killing all trespassers. To crush you to death and bite down on that sweet flesh of yours would only waste the treasures which you hold inside. Your heart, so utterly adorable, I'll keep it beating. My own little pet to play with when the days grow even colder, or my boredom becomes too much to bear. Fear not, for if I wished to kill you, you would have already breathed your last. I shall not waste that invaluable heart of yours. I shall keep it, guard it, protect it from any who seek to enter my domain. And through it all you shall be mine. I find the quick, shallow breaths you offer me to be entertainment enough. But that sweet scent of uncertainty, of panic, of fear. Mm, delectable. The way that you ride, struggle, only makes you all the more alluring. Now silence. Waste not your tears, my little pet. No harm shall come to you so long as you obey. I have been the guardian of these lands for millennia, and not one soul has been able to breach its defenses. You see, the forest is more than trees, swamps, and wildlife. It has a heart. Every beast, every branch, and every bog obeys my command. To struggle is useless. And if you ever try to escape my embrace and take that precious heart away from me, I shall not hesitate to wrap you tightly and squeeze you until you can't run anymore. And we couldn't be having that, now could we? How terrible of a thing it would be to ruin you, 
to ravage your body and delight in the flavors you carry beneath the skin. <laughs> I'd much rather have such a sweet little delight with me for the rest of both of our days here. The cold will begin to grow warm, the sunless skies inviting, and my warm embrace your only safe haven from the wilds which wish for nothing more than to tear you apart. I'll keep you safe as I have done for this forest for as long as humans can remember. You are safe here with me, my little treasure. There you shall stay by my side like a good little pet while I scour the forests for verminous trespassers. Perhaps it shall offer you a better view of what I can do should you ever disobey or try to run. Don't treat my kindness for care. I could break you as a hammer would crush a sparrow's egg. I simply want a new toy, and to be granted such a rare plaything such as you. <laughs> Don't make me break you. The other pretty little things I've heard have broken so easily. Far too quickly for me to revel in the joys of the hunt with eyes besides the beasts waiting to pick apart the effects of my hunt. The other toys I've had wear through their wonder by so many means. It's as if they want me to kill them. Such a waste when there was so much fun to be had. And here I figured that a meager meal such as a human would enjoy the touch of a more powerful being, of the spoils left behind those who fled the forest, the wines, cheeses, and humanly desires of sustenance taken from many a terrified fleeing adventurer. But alas, it would seem that all of these are merely temptations to enter. Once they're within one's grasp, they are no longer wanted. Humans such a fickle race, but mm -hmm. <laughs> they are oh so very fun to play with. Oh, well you see orcs are too stupid to realize the mercy I've shown them. They chant their war cries and swing their axes of crude steel and hafts of wood. But all that awaits them is the cold touch of death. That and their horrible lovers. They are quite sumptuous and hefty, but what they possess in terms of strength is quickly diminished by their lack of poise. Though I must say, it is amusing to see them trying to pleasure me. Brutish creatures, for what they're worth, they do allow me to dig in since there's so much to swallow. Then there are the dwarves, such a sturdy folk but far too proud. They often don't make it further than the creatures lurking the outskirts without heavy casualties. To see them slaughter my creatures for their pelts and meat with abandon, it makes my blood run even colder. I take joy in slaughtering those ones, though I will give them that their craftsmanship is quite remarkable. But remarkable is not enough to withstand my grasp. <sighs> the sweet sounds they make for me when they breathe their last. Steel armor whining against my touch. The curses and profanity they cry out before I send them into the land eternal. Ah, truly a wonderful foe to chase. I just wish that they were faster. Oh, but lest we forget the elves. They love the hunt, the art of the bow and arrow. Meager, primitive tools used by a pompous, arrogant race. The way they skirt around with their flashy swords and cloaks of green are such a refreshing sight to see. Fast, agile, but just barely slow enough for me to catch. It is a shame that they are just so frail, so easy to break. They think themselves wise with their magics and weapons. But such trivial means of destruction are not to the god of this place. But while they do make at least half-decent playthings, they always try to escape sooner or later. And when that time comes, it is absolutely delectable. 
the chase on once more, driven by fear or some other worldly emotion. But it's such a shame to have to kill the ones I keep. The little things break so quickly that I barely have enough time to elicit the best noises from them when they pass. But of course, the best for last. The favorite among my playthings. Humans, such a feeble race. No claws, no natural resistance to the harsh climates they struggle to survive in. And oh, how their fear tastes. It's unlike any other where the other races are too stupid or proud to die with grace. Humans show all their emotions oh so very easily, with a little bit of encouragement. But because they're so simple, they're so easy to get along with. Given some time and a little extra physical encouragement, they try so hard to please me. It's amusing, and dare I say admirable, like in everything they do. Humans are persistent. How they never stop trying is beyond me. But it is something I quite enjoy toying with on the odd occasion I happen to find one in my presence. And that, of course, brings me to you. I'll make certain that our time together is enjoyable for the both of us. After all, I am a benevolent god and we'll see to it that the pleasures of the hunt and the spoils of our efforts will be something you won't ever have the chance to forget. Now, come along, little pet. We have places to be. <laughs>